You're watching the 2019 SCAC Fall Media Days. It's day two, and today we're taking a look in the Centenary College women's soccer program. The ladies coming off a 9-6 and six season a year ago, 6-5 and five in SCAC play. Once again, the ladies will be led by head coach Greg Cathell, along with senior forward Kyra Montez. And coach Kyra, first of all, thanks so much for joining us today. Our pleasure. Coach, we'll start with you heading into your third season. You've really built some solid foundation building blocks over the first two seasons. A season ago, you're coming off the most wins in a regular season and in conference play since joining the SCAC. First winning season for the program since 2011. How do you take that hard work that you've done over the first couple of years and, and you know, allow it to continue to help build this program going into year three? I mean, it all goes back to the kind of players you have and the people you surround yourself with. And, you know, we're very blessed and fortunate to have young ladies that work hard and want to strive for excellence. Um, you know, elite players on the roster certainly are going to kind of take you to the next level as well. And uh, having that and then players like Kyra, as well as a strong senior class this year, uh, and some, some really quality transfers and new players, uh, I really think are going to kind of take us to the next level even beyond what we did last year. Kyra, you've made such an impact in the two years that you've been on campus there in Shreveport. Two-time first team, all SCAC player. But what feels different this year as a senior, being one of those leaders that you really leaned on to going into your final camp? How is this year different than those first two seasons? Um, because it's my last year, I definitely have a fire in me that I just want to go out um, like harder than I did the last two years. I want to make history in our school and um, just like the girls around me as well, the transfers, like Coach Greg just said, are really awesome. Um, the, the incoming players are just really like skilled and amazing girls. So it just gets me so excited. It makes me play harder. It makes the other girls work harder. And it, I, I'm excited for it this, in, um, this incoming season. Coach, we've talked in the past about how important for you keeping possession, dictating the game, and feeling as if you dictate the game, you can really control the game. A season ago, 12 more goals uh, than the year before that. So much exciting things going on right now in Shreveport. A brand new uh, turf field complex that's gone in. How much will that sort of new turf field help to kind of keep possession, dictate the game, and do the things that you like to do as a head coach with this team? Yeah, I mean, I think you pretty much used like all my terminology from last year's interview because that, that's what I remember saying. Uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, if you're able to keep possession and dictate play, you're going to dictate the game. And um, I think it's really exciting, you know, to have a group uh, that I think is even more prepared to do that this year and, um, you know, control that even more. Uh, yeah, we went up in, in goals last year as I thought we would. Uh, you know, a little disappointed we, we uh, conceded as many as we did. Um, you know, had some devastating injuries across the back line last year. Uh, we've uh, backfilled that with uh, a lot of good depth coming in this year. So uh, really looking forward to cutting down on those numbers because I really think, uh, you know, it comes down a lot of times to one goal games in this sport. And ultimately for us, uh, we know we're going to be able to put some goals up on the board. Uh, we just got to minimize um, the mistakes in the, in the final third defensively to make sure that we you know, coming out on top of those tight games because at the end of the day, you know, there's not much of a difference of a nine and six season um, and potentially as high as, you know, 12 and three. I mean, you really want to just give yourself the best opportunity to win games. And like you said, I mean, for us, if we can keep possession of the ball, uh, we're going to be pretty happy about what we're going to be able to get as far as results. Kyra, 14 goals, five assists a season ago, 33 total points. You averaged 2.2 points per game. That was second best in the SCAC. How do you follow a performance like that? What have you been working on through the course of the offseason to continue to grow and get better as a player as you head into the senior year? Um, I've definitely worked on my fitness a lot. Um, I like to get a lot of touches on the ball. I've been working a lot on my shooting, um, even playing at a, another level. Like I, I like to play against boys because it's a faster play. You have to be quicker. Um, so I, that's how I've been preparing for this season, and I feel completely prepared to you know, make stats like better than last year. And I'm super excited about it. 
Coach, you, you mentioned a little bit, which I'm sure is a big part of it, and adding that depth and feeling a lot more comfortable there. Defensively, this team allowed 30 goals in 15 games a season ago. How do you kind of maybe tighten up that back in a little bit? What are you doing to, to work on that you look to do during preseason to kind of help that side of the ball heading into this year? Simple, simplifying play, you know, making play predictable, you know, making sure that you're, you're containing you know, the ball um, in important situations as you kind of drop into that final restraining line. Um, I think that's incredibly, incredibly important. And like I said, I mean, it, it just goes all the way across the board. Um, you know, if, if you've got quality players and you can get uh, the most out of them, uh, you, you're already putting yourself at a more elite level. And, and I really believe we've done that. Uh, we have a roster size of, of 29 now. Um, you know, we've really grown, you know, by about 50% on our roster size. And we're not growing in numbers um, only, we're growing in quality. And at the end of the day, the product on the field is going to get better. We're going to continue to strive to be better. And we want nothing but the best for our school, our institution, our family, our friends. And um, I think at the end of the day, they're going to see that this year. Coach, I love what you say there in terms of growing not only by numbers, not just numbers, but quality as well. How different is it for you and your coaching staff when it comes to practices when it has those numbers? Does that make a tremendous difference in helping prepare this team to get ready for a season? It does. It does. I mean, I think when your training sessions are at a higher level, you know, you're going to get results out of things that maybe you didn't even think you could originally do. Um, just doing different styles of transitional components that you just even a year before couldn't even functionally do properly, I think is great. Um, so for us, of course, um, you know, the quality of the player, uh, the ability to play at a higher level, um, the standard setting, I think is just completely different as well. Um, you know, my very first year here, I, and I'm sure Kyra probably remembers, it was all about staying positive and playing to our ability. Well, at the end of the day, we still want to stay positive, but more important than anything else, we want to play to our ability. And our ability, as far as our skill set, has greatly grown. So the pressure's on for us to, to really rise to the occasion and make sure that we perform at the end of the day. Kyra, getting back to you, I, I kind of mentioned it to Coach, but I'm interested to hear your perspective. Obviously, so much excitement, and, and, and the expectations continue to grow there in Shreveport. You usher in a new field. You bring in that new field turf that was installed over the summer. you got some new facelifts to the soccer complex down there at Centenary. How excited are you and the rest of your teammates? Is that something that's kind of adding a little extra buzz as you get prepared for, for a new season? Well, we're really excited. We're very pumped. We've all been working hard over the summer to like come in and you know, um, have an awesome senior season. And um, even like the growing roster size, it totally puts pressure on everyone else to perform to their ability because now there's people that can take your spot. It's not just even for me, like I, I'm not like my position is not, you know, just I can't even think of your replacement. Yeah, like a replacement. Um, <laughs> but like, we're still excited about it. Having that, the quality of players that we do, um, the new field is just amazing to play on. And it's, it's going to be a great season. We're all pumped. It's not even that we are, um, I guess, like catty about it. Um, we're just more encouraging for each other. We love the competitiveness, but like, of having someone possibly replacing us because it pushes us. And at the end of the day, all of us just want what's best for this team, for this program. So that's just really exciting in itself. Finally, Kyra, as we look ahead uh, to, to this year's senior season, what are some of the goals that you have for this team as you have, have had discussions with your teammates? And what will be key for this team to you know, accomplish those goals and take that next step as you have kind of you know, gone along on this journey here over the last couple of years of Centenary College Women's Soccer? Um, for, for sure, make the conference championship game. Um, I think, if anything, not even just make it, but like maybe having a one or two losses in conference in itself. Um, the way we'll probably do that is just holding each other accountable, playing hard, not only in the game, but at practice itself. Um, just basically preparing and taking every single game as basically like it could be our last. Um, we just have to be serious, and by being serious, we just have to help keep each other accountable. Um, I think we all know that we can. We are at that level to where we can be a number one or two spot in um, this conference. So we just all have to like do what we need to do to like keep that mindset. 
Finally, Coach, this season looks successful if what unplays for your ladies' soccer team. What can the ladies' soccer supporters expect to see as this 2019 season gets underway? Yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, we want to be in that final game against them. Um, you know, they have set a great standard in this conference and, and big props and respect to them. But at the end of the day, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. And we would love to make a trip south in southern Texas uh, and play in that conference championship game against a, a storied tradition that Trinity's laid down. Um, we're not going to back down from anybody. Uh, we're not afraid of anybody. And we're not going to sit in on anybody. Like, we're going to play them. And at the end of the day, uh, we're going to let our chips fall where they may. Centenary College women's soccer program head coach Greg Cathell, along with senior forward Kyra Montez will lead this team into the 2019 season when they open up the year August 30th against LaGrange. Coach Kyra, thanks so much for your, your time today and best of luck as you head into the 2019 season. Thank you, Russell. Thank you.